community of Dinukana village in the northwest have barricaded the N4 route linking the country to Botswana. They say it's because of the rising social injustices, incidents such as GBV, rape, drug abuse, and empty old buildings that are being used for criminal activity. Newsroom Africa's Rafilo Siboko joins us now. Rafilo, a very good morning to you. Uh, a lot of tensions, of course, uh, as uh, there, there are calls for some solutions to these escalating problems. A lot, of, a lot of tension indeed, Mpo, as you are seeing behind me. Residents, they say that they have been here since 4 a.m. Uh, this morning, uh, barricading the N4 that is linking South Africa and Botswana. Though some of their frustration is the issue of, they say that there's allegedly a serial rapist here in Dinokana. Some of the victims are here who say that this guy continued to violate them, but he gets arrested and also uh, re get released the same day or the following they, they say that they have been uh, raising this issue with the police. Also, they are raising their dissatisfaction with the police, who saying that police are not assisting them. There are police officials who are here, uh, here in the N4, uh, guarding the residents here of Dinukana, who are protesting here today. Today, some of the yeah, challenges as well that they have raised is issues of uh, drugs or substance abuse, and also uh, issues of old buildings that are being used for criminal activities. These are some of their frustrations. They say that they continue to raise these frustrations with authorities and they are just not satisfied with how uh, it's been handled and this is why it, the, the issues are being handled and this is why they took it at uh, this action of uh, protesting here in the N4 that is leaking South Africa and Botswana and say that they are hoping that uh, then this time around authority, authorities will be able to hear them uh, and also you know address the challenges but a particular concern is the issue of uh, the serial rapist, alleged serial rapist. We see the board, no rapist, we want justice, uh, which means it's enough, and they are calling on action to be taken against this guy, whom they say that he continues to terrorize the community of Dinokana. And as you can see, this is frustration. Enough is enough is one of the boards that I am noticing here, Holikani, and also we see elderly people, the young, and some gentlemen who are saying that they are here in solidarity of uh, most of women who continue to raise their issue and their concern about uh, the violation that they are faced with here in Dinokana. We'll uh, get to talk to some of them a little bit earlier uh, to, for them to share their experiences with, the, with us and also to find out what is it that they would really like uh, to, to be done. Uh, Rafilo, there's a level of uh, police presence uh, in terms of how things could pan out uh, at the moment, relatively calm, uh, what sort of approach have the police taken? Well, they have just been here, uh, police just monitoring uh, the whole time. It doesn't look like it will be volatile at all. As they were engaging with the resident, and they say that this is a peaceful march. As much as they are burning tires, it's just a peaceful march. And also the police are just here to say that they are monitoring the situation just in case it ends volatile. But so far it looks like it's relatively calm. And also in my engagement with the resident, we are saying that they are not intending to cause any more chaos beyond this, but they just want authorities to hear their frustrations because it's not the first time they continue to raise these frustrations and they are not being addressed. So, so far, it's really relatively calm. They are engaging among themselves to say police are here, but all the time when they are raising the issue of police calling them to come and address to hear their frustrations, police are not here. Some of the residents are saying that uh, they are amazed that there are even police officials here in Dinokana or even uh, vehicles for that matter because they said they, all, all the time when they're trying to get police to address their issue they would say vehicles are not available but they're just here monitoring the situation and I think they just need to address what is happening here they think that they're going to remain here until those that they want answers from come here and address them. Well, Rafilwe Seboku, we leave it there for now. The residents of Dinukana village taking their frustrations to the streets, a story we will continue to monitor throughout the course of the day.